Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook, right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Daniel Cook at the dentist. Hi, I'm here with Dr. Ken, and today he's going to take me around his dentist's office. Hello, Daniel Ken. Cook, now let's do a high five. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Have a seat right here, Daniel. Perfect. And guess what? This is Farah. Farah, Hi, this Daniel. is Daniel Cook. Wow, this is a this is the coolest dental chair I've ever seen. Oh, I like it too. So Daniel, why is it important to brush your teeth? Do you know that? So your teeth don't rot or get cavities or fall out. So good. Now, do you know what cavities are? Yeah. Tell me what cavities are. Tell Farah and I what cavities are. It's when your teeth get really dirty, mm -hmm. and you have to have a hole drilled in your teeth. Okay, very good. Well, actually, I hate the freezing. I know. It Nobody, hurts. I know. Cause like, because I've had to, bring, I've had to have my mouth freeze. Pinch. You got freezing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a little pinch, but it's not so bad. It's like a little mosquito bite. It wasn't so bad. But that's why you have to avoid eating all that candy. You know that, right? Because candy gives you cavities. Why does candy cause cavities? Is it because there's so much sugar in it? You're such a smart kid. You know that. That's right. Right? Because it says so much sugar. Boy, I cavity. should be um, a dentist. You should be a dentist. In fact, I should be a dentist. I would I love you to be a dentist. You could, be, you could be a dentist, and you could be working with us here at the dental clinic. That be fun. So, we are going to talk about brushing your teeth, all right? In fact, to do this, I'm going to put you up in the chair. You ready? So, Daniel, you hold the toothbrush for a minute and show me how you would brush your teeth if you had a set of adult teeth. How are you going to brush them? You know, that's how I always do it. Yep. I always brush them like... Now, Daniel, that's oh, yeah, not sorry. bad. That's not bad, but I'm going to show you something. You're right. You should brush them like this on the biting surface where you bite, right? You can brush them like that, but on this side where it's where, where you're smiling you got to brush them down on the top and up on the bottom okay you show me down on the top that's right gums to the teeth very good you're such a smart kid why do you brush down from the top oh well this is a way of preserving your gums so if you brush down from the top it pulls your gums over your teeth like a blanket covering a bed if you do it the other way, then it pulls them up and you're going to get all that gum recession. It's going to pull back and that's going to look yucky when you're older. This is Daniel Cook getting his teeth cleaned. Do you know why we have to clean your teeth, Daniel? Mm, to get a thorough one. Yeah, you want a thorough cleaning because sometimes you miss things at home. Everybody does, but at the dentist we have to get every speck of anything off your teeth. We want them polished and clean. Let's see what farah has got over there. Farah has passed over to me a little bit of paste and it's just like toothpaste except a stronger version that we use here. I'm going to put my little dental brush in there and we are going to see what we can do about cleaning Daniel's teeth. Are you ready? Yay. This is easy. Uh, oh, very good. Let's see what we can do. In fact, I'll put my mask on. It'll make things easier. That doesn't hurt, does it? I uh, know. Fluoride, Daniel, is something that we use as dentists that coats your teeth and sinks into your teeth and it makes them stronger and more resistant against cavities. Ooh. Looks like wet cream. Tastes good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I like that strawberry flavor. That's coating your teeth and preventing all those cavities from starting. You know what, Dr. Ken? What? Dan? I just lost a tooth really? a few days ago. Oh, you brought the tooth that you lost for Dr. Ken. Let's take a look at that. Let's see what you got. Nice and white. Oh, look at that. That looks like a little incisor. That's one of your front teeth, isn't it? Uh, yep. Very good. Very good. So the tooth fairy was good to you, Daniel. Yep, she left me a note. Oh, she gave you a note. And what did the note say? She said, hi, Daniel. 
May I have your tooth with tomorrow? <laughs> Is that what the tooth fairy said? Yeah. Very she good. Said, and she also said, it's very shiny. Love tooth fairy. Very good, very so good. Hey, Daniel, did Tooth Fairy give you any money? Yep. Four dollars. Wow. Four dollars? <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's nice. <laughs> What's the best part about being a dentist? Ah, uh, seeing good kids like you, it makes my day. All right, the second best part is helping people with their smiles, make their smiles look, that's right, make their teeth look great, and then they feel good and it makes me feel good. That's the best part. Thank you very much, Dr. Ken, for teaching me about dentistry and taking me around your dentist office, so it was fun. Hey, you're very welcome. Let's do a high five on it. Hey. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there. <laughs>